Hello, hello. Hello. I'm trying something new today. Let's see if we can do this here. How are you? There we go. I think this is too high. I can't even see anything. There we go. Hello, friends. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Ask your questions. We've got lots of things going on. We're doing some mindset work today. Um, if you follow my channel, you know I'm all about manifestation, money, mindset, realignment. You know, we've got the whole thing going on. So um, feel free to come in and ask us any questions or just say hello. Let us know what you're doing here today. Um, playing around with the camera. This is a new kind of setup for us. I think it's kind of cool. Um, learn this trick from the mothership. I think that's our handle here. And of course, as you can see here at the top, we have a new program coming out March 16th called Magnetic Soul, getting yourself into alignment, not only just with your mindset, but with your money, your manifestation, and your energy. So we're like really super excited about that. Um, and you know, that's really what we have right now. So feel free to come in, say hello, let us know you're here. We're just waiting for some other people to join. And we'll start ask, answering some mindset questions, uh, whatever you guys got going on. Um, how's that sound? Does that sound good? Anywho, so it's really cold here on the East Coast. It started snowing this morning. Um, and that's it. I'm here now. I'm here in what time is it? It's three o'clock. Three o'clock is like my um, my zone. So if you're ever on TikTok and you're wondering where, you know, I wonder if I'm going live. Friday's at three and anytime at three o'clock, three o'clock tends to be my kind of um, zone for um free time my free time zone so always check check in and around here if you don't follow me please do um, but you can always check in around here at around um, three o'clock and we're usually usually here uh, we'll answer comments on any of our uh, videos or if we're live we'll answer whatever it is that you've got going on so feel free to come in Ask your mindset questions. We are happy to answer them. If you follow follow any of our um, any of our work, you'll know that we're very heavy on hello, hello. We're very oh, thank you, Machine Gun Patty. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I love the hearts. I'm really kind of new at the live thing, so I don't really know how to like engage on live so I'm just kind of like you know throwing it out there and seeing what happens um but feel free to come on in ask any questions like here's the thing if I can answer them I will right that's just kind of like how I work if I can't answer them I'll tell you that I can't answer them you know like just flat out you know can't do that but um, I'm pretty open to engaging and seeing how you guys are and uh, just touching base. I love to touch base with my fans and my followers and seeing, you know, what videos are helping you and what videos are not, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. And this way I, I can curtail my content to basically... Um, help and see what it is that we can do in order to help you. So that's kind of how I work. That's why what I use these lives for is to kind of touch base with community and see where you're at. And what you tell me is basically, um, you know, things that I create content around. So Machine Gun Patty asks, hang on one second. Is there a way I can help hold a positive mindset for someone that is struggling? This is a great question. Oh my God, right out of the gateway. So here's the thing about other people and other people's mindset is you have to remember that other people come from a different experience, a different place of experience 
than you do, which is why they perceive their world a little differently than you might perceive it, right? But as heart-centered people, you know, we want to be there for people. We want to help people um, as best we can. But at the same time, you don't want to get dragged down into the rabbit hole with them, right? Because that's what happens. When you align and agree with someone else's perception of, say, lack or their perception of uh, the whole world is going to shit, um, what happens is, is you start changing your vibration and then all of a sudden you start agreeing with them and it's basically they drag you down their own rabbit hole and now you're thinking, feeling, and believing the same things that they are and that changes your mindset, right? And also changes your vibration and your frequency and suddenly you're holding this vibration of just crap all day long and you went into this situation going, well, you know what? I didn't feel bad when I woke up this morning and, you know, I was feeling really good until I talked about or talked with so-and-so what happened, right? So whenever we agree and we align with someone else's misperceptions or um, views of misalignment, what can happen is, is that can kill your vibe as well. So but to answer your question is what can you do to hold a positive mindset for yourself while other people are struggling is this. So when somebody else is struggling, um, it's really a lot of internal work. You have to remind yourself that they are in misalignment, right? So the number one thing that you have to do is hold your own alignment, right? And be very conscious of the fact that that person is out of alignment and you are in alignment. If you don't want to get dragged down the rabbit hole, then you need to be very conscious of where it is that you agree and align with their misalignments. Are you following me so far? Okay. So what that could look like is when people want to verbally vomit on you, basically, and what that means energetically is they give you all of their low vibrations so that they can dump that on you so they feel better, but you feel like crap. You have to consciously say that you're not available for that, okay? I'm not available for that. I will hold the space and container to let you vent, but I will not agree and I will not align with you because what happens when we agree and align with misalignment for other people is we reinforce those misalignments, right? Because when people verbally have diarrhea all over you um, in conversation, what they're looking for is either number one, to verbally vomit on you, or number two, they're looking for someone to cement their misaligned perception in for them, meaning, oh yeah, you know, that's exactly how it is. And so then that makes their misalignment correct. Oh yeah, you're right. So this must be true because you agree as well. Um, so what about asking for help to transmute that energy? So the, here's the thing. You can't transmute energy for other people. You can only transmute energy for yourself. What you can do is you can bring awareness to them by saying, you know, that sounds really kind of like out of alignment and this is why I kind of see it from this perspective, right? And then you allow them, so it's kind of like you're up here in your high vibe and they're down here and they're saying, can you come down here and hang out with me? And you're like, no, why don't you come up here and hang out with me? You get to hold the higher vibration. And as you hold that higher vibration and they rise up to you, okay, what happens is, um, they, they, in essence, will transmute that energy, but on their own. Because if you transmute it for them, wait till you hear this, okay? Oh my gosh. When you transmute energy for people um, without them doing the work, what happens is you then become empathically reactive to their karma. Anytime we do shit for other people, when they're not doing it for themselves, there's an empathic backlash and it, there's a karmic black backlash, which means when you move forward, you have all their stuff and now you're empathically and karmically feeling all of their shit while they're walking around going, I feel good. 
I feel good today. It's because they drain the shit out of you already. And they're walking around with your good feeling vibes while they gave you their low feeling vibes. Okay. So, oh snap. Yeah, I definitely feel that. Yes. Okay. So you don't want to transmute shit. Now you might be sitting there with someone who's just verbally having, you know, ver verbal vomit all over you. And you, oh man, my, whoa, you see those lights? Oh shit. Your spirit is in the house. Woo, okay. So you may have somebody having verbal diarrhea all over you um, or verbal vomit. <laughs> I hope it's not diarrhea. That would be really awkward. Um, but what happens is, is that, um, <laughs> you know, you don't want to be, be taking any of that, right? You don't want to be taking, there we go. We're just going to block people. We're, um, you know, you don't want to be taking any of that. So... So the best way you can help someone seriously is have them see it for themselves, right? In the sense of, well, you know, I, I can see how, right? And it really comes down to like kind of like coaching them to some degree. But before that, my guides are saying, but before you go into coaching someone um, without their permission, right? The first thing that you do want to ask uh, that other person is, okay, do you want me to sit here and hold the space for you while you verbally vomit all over me? Or are you looking for a solution? Are you looking to see yourself or see your way out of this? Or are you just looking to verbally vomit? Okay, so those are the questions. And if somebody says, I just want you to listen. I just want to just bleh all over the place. Okay, so number one, you have to be uh, very clear if you're available for that or not. Sometimes like people are just not available. Like I'm not available for that. You want to sit here and have verbal diarrhea for an hour? Pfft, go find somebody else. Go call someone else. I am not available, okay? But if you happen to get into a situation like that where you have like all of this energy is just piling on top of you, you, you need to set your uh, space, right? Like, okay, so if you want to just vent, give me a second, let me tune in, okay? And I'm just going to hold this space and you're going to just want to block yourself or, or shield yourself or, you know, just be intentional with, I'm not going to take any of this on. So she says, um, I've been trying to ask that, that lately and it is helping. Uh, like when they just get free access to my energy, they go away. Yeah. It's kind of like, so here's the thing. I don't know what you do. Are you a healer or a coach or anything or just, you know, just very energetically sensitive? Let me know. But I know that when people know that you're a healer or a coach, it's like you're this delicious chocolate creamy milkshake and they feel like they have permission to just kind of dip their straw into your milkshake, okay? That sounds overly sexual, doesn't it? But I apologize for that, okay? So you're a healer. Oh yeah, even worse, like you're a healer, right? Well, you should be able to fix me and I'm gonna, <coughs> hold on, there's some energy shifting there. <coughs> okay, so you're, you're a healer and so they think that, you know, you can just tap in and just, you know, you know, free ice cream, you know, free ice cream. <coughs> That's where we get into um, setting boundaries. And I just made a TikTok this morning. I have not um, posted it yet about setting boundaries and how to start and finish with clients, right? So how to begin your sessions and what you need to do and then how to end them, right? Because of this kind of interlocking um, access of energy, right? You want to be, you want to really make sure like when you're working with someone, um, they're definitely going to tap into you, but you have to be very clear in where you agree in a line, because if you agree in a line, then that is an agreement that the two of you are just going to each other. Right. And that's, that's also a really sexual, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's happening today. Um, <laughs> so you want to make sure that your energy is super clean, right? That you're holding the higher vibration so that your clients can meet you up here the moment that you allow yourself to have a client bring you down and lower your vibe and be in that arena is the moment where you kind of, um, 
you've lost the threshold of the higher frequency. Um, you can reset in the middle of a session. It's not a big deal, um, but they've already kind of sucked you in for lack of a better word. And um, they've, they've already got access to your energy. They're probably feeding off of you. Um, and so you have to be very, very careful, very, very careful as to how you hold yourself, how you set yourself up for that session. Um, and of course, um, you know, in, in instances where you're not in session, where you're actually um, just talking with people out in the wild, so to speak, you have to be even extra careful because there's not an agreement or an arrangement between strangers, right? So if you meet somebody in a in a supermarket, right, and you're having a conversation and it turns into something um, very spiritual, you're talking about spiritual concepts, right? Um, there's no agreement. There's no relationship there. So if they happen to be an energy vampire, uh, there's nothing there to say. You know, you don't have your boundaries up. You don't have your shields up and they will tap into your field. So you want to make sure that um, I don't know if that answers your question, but you do want to make sure that your intentions of how you approach those types of situations um, How do we, the guys just stopped my thought. I guess that wasn't going in the right direction. I get, okay, strangers love telling me their life story. Yeah, yeah. Because on, a, on an energetic level, um, you have an open field and you're non-threatening. And there's something about you that people, that they just want to talk about you, you know, talk about themselves and, and all the time. Like I used to get that all the time, all the time. But it is an energetic um, calibration that you can do it it sometimes is an indicator that your boundaries aren't as strong as they should be um and that you you might be overextending yourself to not just the world but to your clients right to your clients to the people um that you work with and to strangers like we want to be helpful right when you're energetically sensitive, you want to be you want to be helpful, right? Um, but sometimes we can be over helpful in a way that doesn't actually serve us. Does that make sense? Uh, stranger, tell me that they are not. It's a work in progress. Oh, okay, okay. So they're they're not what exactly? I kind of went off on a tangent and I don't remember what you were responding to. So they're not draining your energy. Is that what you mean? You can just let me know. Um, also, when you're in business as a healer, that is also a different energetic stance. Um, so the one thing that I used to do when I was first in business is I just loved to talk to people about my business. And in that conversation, things would end up like, uh, questions would end up like, could you, could you read me, blah, blah, blah? Could you, you know, give me this service? You know, I have this pain here. Can you run um, Reiki or whatever? And I'd be like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Right? And that's two things. Number one, whoo, boundaries. Number two was giving shit away for free. And that is related to um, worth issues. So I did work on them for many, many years. So you just got to keep a mind's eye, right? So if somebody is, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Maybe there's somebody here on the call who needs to hear this. But if you are in that position where people are always approaching you for free stuff, it's time to say fucking no. It's time to say no, you can pay me, okay? If they are your ideal client and you were meant to work with them, they will pay you. If they are not, then they are energy drainers. Okay, my boundaries are not strong. Okay, trauma made me a guilt-led fixer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, okay. Absolutely. And I don't want to say it's... um. I don't get that you're a guilt-led fixer. So what happens with people with trauma, ooh, I'm getting total chills. What happens when people have trauma is that um, we become very empathic, right? Uh, our, our journey is very difficult. And basically what happens is we take this energetic stance of, I've been here, done that. I don't wanna do that again. And because I've been here, done that, I don't want you to be here because I've already been here and it sucks. And so what happens is 
um, we want to over help. We want to say, stop. You know, we want to stand at the big pit, the, you know, the big pit of hell, right? And go, no, don't come down here. It's a pit of hell. Don't come in here, right? We've been there. We don't want to do that. But what happens is, is sometimes that's people's journey, right? That some people literally, in order for them to awaken and for, in order for them to evolve, they literally have to fall into that pit of shit. And even though we're standing there going, no, no, they're not going to believe you. They're going to do it anyway. And you're extending and expending all of this energy that they don't want anyway. Okay, so I don't know who needed, oops, to hear that. Um, Machine Gun Patty says, I needed to hear that. I make spiritual jewelry and everyone wants a piece for free. Yeah, I used to make spiritual jewelry too. Everybody wants it for free. Everybody wants it for free. I love spiritual jewelry. I used to um, imbue them. So when you would receive them, like it would like light up and you could actually feel it. And, um, you know, that, that was fun. But yes, everybody wants it for free. But here's the thing I'm going to tell all of you is that your soul ideal clients, right? Your soul ideal clients don't want shit for free. Your soul ideal clients, they want to pay you. Let me say that again. Your soul ideal clients want to pay you. You know why? Because you give them value. You give them value with their gifts and they value the gifts and the transformation that they receive. Anybody else who is trying to access you for free does not value you, does not value your work. They are not your soul ideal client. You could just pass them on to someone else, okay? Um, what's it be? Yeah, 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 okay, and that's, a, you know, and I, let me tell you, I, I don't know if you've ever heard this story before, but I used to start out giving free Reiki sessions, because I was practicing, right, and I just wanted to learn the craft, and I did that for about eight months, and I had this set of clients who would always come every week for a free Reiki, I don't even do Reiki anymore, by the way, but this is just the story for it, um, and they would come for free. And then at some point, my guides were like, dude, you got to fucking charge for this shit. This is ridiculous. Right. And so I decided, OK, and I had really big money lack mentality at that time. Right. And I don't have that now, which is why I teach everybody. Right. You should make money. Right. Because of the whole thing. Right. I've been down that pit of uh, that pit of hell. Don't fall in there. Let me show you how to make money. Let me show you how to align. Let me show you how to how to do, you know, do, you know, whatever. I lost the word it flew out of my head. But anyway, um, then I decided I was going to charge. I was going to charge for my services. And I was going to charge $35 for a one hour Reiki session. I know, some of you should be sitting on the other end of that phone going, what? That's freaking insane, right? But here's the thing, I had such lack mentality, I could not book them. The, the five clients that I had, when I said to them, I'm going to charge you now $35, left. They left. They never came back. Why? Because now they had to pay for it. Okay, so, you know, lack, m mindsets and mentality seep in everywhere. But what did I learn is my work is very valuable. I mean, I literally had one woman come in and she couldn't walk and because of um, tense muscle aches, basically, in her hips limped on her way in and then after a healing session for about an hour did a lot of work on it we had a lot of spiritual interve intervention got up off the table with no pain whatsoever but she didn't want to pay 35 dollars for that that is insane okay those are your those are not your ideal clients those are takers OK, those are your freebie seeking takers who do not really have an awareness of the value of what it is that you're providing. Takers going to take. Yeah. But if you keep offering it, then you're giving it away. So boundaries in saying, nah, you got to pay me. You got to pay me. I mean, it doesn't mean that you have to charge twenty thousand dollars 
you know, a package. I mean, it took me 20 years to get to the point where I could charge $20,000. 20 years, I mean, that's 20 years of work, right? That doesn't mean that, you know, tomorrow, all of a sudden you're gonna raise your prices and it's gonna be okay, it's $20,000, right? You have to work your way up to where you're comfortable. You gotta get your alignment and your mindset around money to that point where you can start to receive bigger amounts of money for your work. How awesome would that be? What if you could like, Quit your jobs right now and just do healing work out of your home on the phone, like forever. And make, I don't know, 50, 60, $100,000 a year. That's what I wanted. That's what I did. It took me a while, I'll be honest. It took me a while because I had a lot of lack mentality. It was always brought up with there's not enough, I'm not good enough, and I'm not worthy, right? So in order for me to unravel and unwind all that shit, that took me a while. It took me a while, but I'm not working a nine to five, and I don't work full time. And I like it. <laughs> and so because I've been down that pit of hell, I'm standing here at the edge going, hey, you guys. You guys, don't go down that pit of hell. I will show you how to make money. I will show you how to get over those mindset issues, those mindset blocks in your business. I will show you. As a matter of fact, we're going to show some people on March 16th in our Magnetic Soul program. We're going to walk you through how to really get in alignment with more money and how to make money your friend and how to utilize the higher dimensions and your feelings as ways of magnetizing your essence and creating a deeper connection and deciding what it is, getting really crystal clear what it is that you want and being able to manifest it. It's exciting, exciting stuff because I've been down the pit, been down the pit. Hello, Kately, is it Catley? Cat Ling. Oh, okay. There we go. Cat Ling. Do you think you will ever not work or don't want to work anymore? Do you think you will ever not work or don't want to work anymore? Why would you not want to work anymore? Think about it. Like you run your own business. You can work when you want and you can work whenever you don't want, right? Caitlin. Oh, Caitlin. Sorry, Caitlin. There we go. Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin. So that's the beauty of being able to work at home is you could decide. Like yesterday, I had a headache, so I didn't work. I didn't work. I'm taking the day off. I'm going to go lay down in my bed. So I didn't work that day, right? And the other thing is, is, is for me, okay, and this is, you know, just my, my personal perspective is this is not work. <laughs> this is like I'm hanging out with a bunch of really awesome people on a live stream, everywhere, everywhere, like literally everywhere in the world. How cool is that? Like, how cool is that? And I get to be able to influence and mentor other people, other healers and other coaches who do the same thing that I do. And so there's a part of me that's like loves that because then you get to not only just make more money in your business, but you get to expand and help others with your work, right? Because everybody's work is so unique and different. My work is so unique and different. Like I think I'm the only mindset coach I know who actually does energetic recalibrations and energy work inside of their mindset work, right? So like when you sign up for a program like us, you don't just get the program. It's like you get my container and inside my container, are like high vibes and recalibrations and energy shifts and just kind of like some magic juice because I started off as a healer, right? And for me, I believe, and you know, there's different perspectives. Law of attraction says you don't need healing. You can just, you know, continue thinking with your mind forward, positivity, keep that momentum going and you can do that. But if you have trauma and if you have issues that make it really heavy, then healing helps from my perspective. Because what that does is it lightens your energy field and gets that shit away that you don't have to plow through it with your brain, right? You can clear it and you can just move through it a little bit more quicker, quickly and gracefully. 
I can do that too, Caitlin says. I do light body activations, but I only have done it to myself so far and I just learned I can. That is amazing. That is amazing. Light body activations are amazing because that really helps people connect with their own inner being, right? That's very prominent work. That is very much work that is needed on this planet because if you can look into the news right now anywhere, you know that 90% of this planet does not have an activated light body. It's impossible, right? So you were here to help people with that, to really remember who they are, get reconnected, activate their light bodies, right? And even heal and clear things. That is amazing. That is amazing. And that is work that I used to do, but I don't do anymore, right? So it's kind of like I'm in this new space, but I'm helping people who were where I was, right? The pit of hell, right? In order to be able to get them out in front of their people so that they can help. And, and this is the most important part, right? And be of service and, and make a shit ton of money while you're doing it, right? Caitlin says, I'm starting to understand how do I charge for that when I don't even understand it, but that is awesome. I'm glad I found this. Yes, okay, you can charge for it. So the what I what I did in the beginning, and you know, I, I would walk you through this whole thing through my coaching practice, but what I would start working or doing is it's all based on practice, right? Practice, practice, practice. So what I would do is get a couple of people and practice. Do that. I would get the practice for free. That's what I usually do. If I'm if I'm not a master at something, this is my personal perspective. Like if I'm going to experiment on you, I'm not going to charge you <laughs> unless I know it absolutely positively works. But if I don't know that it works, I won't charge, right? Um, or if it if it doesn't feel good, I won't I won't charge. But I would practice on a couple of people, and then you really develop. Like, it sounds like you're at the beginning stages of not awakening, but awakening to your soul gifts. And at this point where you you want to learn how to monetize them, but not you're not really quite that there yet. You're to that you're almost there. So when I look, when I see this picture that the guides are, are saying, it's like you're awakening to... Um, to your gifts and mastering them and understanding them and wanting to monetize them, right? And then, you know, but right now you're just in this familiarity stage of, oh my God, I have magic and power. This is amazing. Look what I can do. Holy shit, can I do this too? Yeah, and you're in this discovery process. So you were like in that place where you would come see me when you kind of get this down. You're like, I freaking love this and I want to turn this into like a freaking business and just do this all day. Let me call Elizabeth because I need to know how to make this money. I need to bring it in because this is what I want to do. Does that make sense? Yes. This is so validating. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Yay. How exciting, right? This is what I do, right? So like you're feeling it's like it's validated and it's exciting, right? I'm excited for you. Like that is why I do what I do. So that you, you not only awaken, right? And discover who you really are, but you also are going to then pit of hell, right? Pass the baton to someone else at some point in time. Being able to activate light bodies is really like, it's such a high vibration that you, people drop, they drop lower dense energies and they move into a different space. I mean, that is such a gift. That is so amazing. And it's so, so needed, right? People don't want to stay stuck in these mindsets of poverty and disempowerment. You know, they're done. You know, they want to feel better. And they need guidance, like a lot of people who just wake up, you know, and maybe this is you or not, I don't know. But a lot of people like need guidance, like to go like, what the fuck is this, right? And have somebody on the other side go, oh, well, this is what it is. 
And, you know, maybe your direction or maybe your soul guidance is to do this for a living. And maybe this is, you know, your passion, your purpose and, you know, and help you guide into um, creating a really sustainable business that you love and that makes you a ton of money. Who doesn't want that, right? I think that's exciting. It's so exciting that I got so excited, right? <laughs> I know it seems like crazy, but it's so exciting because that's no longer work that I do anymore, right? Um, I've I've kind of, you know, pit of hell. I've been there, done that. And um, now I'm showing people who were there, who were climbing out of the pit, okay? Said so TikTok universe, to, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, and I just lost my thought. But kind of helping people out of out of the pit and showing you how to make the money and start the business just like I did, right? So we're all kind of helping people who are just a little bit um, in the past from where we are. So like I was you about 20 years ago and I didn't have a mentor 20 years ago. There was no, there was no TikTok 20 years ago. There was no people, there were no resources. And if you even said, you know, energy healing or Reiki, it was like, ooh, you know, it's like total taboo. And, you know, you were afraid that people were gonna come burn stakes on their front yard, you know what I mean? It was, it was not well received. Um, and so now we're in this time, oh, well, at least I'm in this time, 20 years later, um, and it's, it's different, you know, now information is available everywhere. There are people who are coming out that we're not afraid anymore. We just don't give a fuck, right? It's kind of like been there, done there. I don't give a fuck what you think, Sheila, right? So it's kind of like, you know, we're here, we're coming out, we're being really loud and we're just, you know, holding that space for everybody else who's doing the same. Caitlin says she's so happy, I'm so glad. Um, Patty, have you noticed that some people that wake up start at anger or like betrayal for the way things were? Um, I'm not sure what you're asking. Some people wake up. Um, I do understand the starting to wake up with anger. Anger is usually how people process lower dense energies. They become angry. I was, I was very angry. You motherfucker, what the fuck is this, right? Anger. Um, at the universe, right? But because it's because when you wake up, you, you are waking up into a different vibration. And in order to be able to do that, um, all those lower densest pieces have to drop, right? And as they drop, um, people process very differently. Is that what you mean? Let me let me know. Uh, oh, Caitlin, Caitlin has an answer for that. Yes, it gets a little easier as you go on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like dropping the bad vibes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's a process. It's processing, right? As you raise your vibration, you drop more. You well, some mm, sometimes you feel better. Sometimes you feel like crap for a little bit. But once you acclimate to that vibration and that frequency, people usually do feel better. Things that bother them no longer bother them. Um, things like that. Thank you so much. I'm going to check out your website. Oh, yes, please do. Um, our, our program Magnetic Soul starts on March 16th. Uh, we're going to we're going to do that. That's going to be five weeks. Private coaching, not private coaching, group coaching on Facebook and five live modules about aligning with money and removing um, lower energies and frequencies and mindsets um, that don't allow you to receive money for your work. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> to get back to machine guns, machine gun, that's so cute, uh, her question. Um, yeah, it uh, not only does it awaken people into a new frequency, but it also um, prompts them to ask questions, right? Because when you feel like shit and you have this new awareness when you awaken, you have a million questions. How does this shit work? What the fuck is that on the other side of the room? Why am I seeing shit out of the side of my eyes, right? Why am I feeling people's emotions? These do not belong to me, right? So there's a lot of questions um, that come up and that can, that can create a lot of um, confusion and questions. Okay. 
A oh, machine gun Kelly is a nickname from my fiance because I do be farting. <laughs> get it <laughs> that's hilarious that is so funny <laughs> I'm sorry to make you share that on a live stream <laughs> but that is great that is great yes so <laughs> this is perfect oh I've totally lost my train of thought now I all I see is words <laughs> that is great oh <clears throat> so I'm going to wrap this up. So if you have any last minute questions, please feel free to ask them now. Um, as you can tell, I'm a really big talker. Um, and so, you know, my live streams do get to uh, get to be a little long. Soul realignment. Welcome, welcome. What is Magnetic Soul? Magnetic Soul is a five-week um, group coaching program that I'm going to be running on March 16th, which is really for healers and coaches who want to... Um, really rise above the lack mentality, the poor mentality around spending money, about receiving money for their soul work. And we're going to be doing a lot of um, learning how to identify what holds you back and how to clear them and how to clear those things so that you can start moving forward and bringing more awareness to um, your money mindset and being able to manifest the things that you want without getting your mind in the way. Thank you for the question. Do you do soul alignment? I do do soul alignment inside my private um, coaching packages. Um, and they, they're a combination. It's energy work and soul alignment in combination with those who are healers or coaches in business. So it's kind of like a combination of business coaching um, and then soul realignment to it's not really Akashic Records it's more like ascension coding right making sure that your energy is actually you're holding your power appropriately your boundaries are good you're not taking responsibility for other people um your karma you know you're not fucking around with anybody's karma that type of thing um I have worked with the Akashic Records before for me in my practice I just didn't you know I didn't love it it was not like a big a big love affair for me. So it really, it wasn't. Um, but we do like inside my, inside my programs, we have sometimes updated Akashic records after specific shifts. Um, more so it's, it's really for people who in, in our coaching world have energetic conditions as well. And then we'll go in and, and work with the energetics on top of the business. So it's kind of like a balance. Okay, so I do soul alignment readings with the Akashic Records. I thought maybe we did the same. Okay, yes, no, not, no. If you do soul alignment by reading the Akashic, that's a whole different process. Yeah, so my focus is mindset and money manifestation. Um, but also like when I do, um, when I do readings for people, like sometimes the guides will bring in and be like, you need to update the records on this and we can do that. Um, it depends upon like somebody who's who's coming to you, but they're coming from trauma, but it shows up in their business, which happens, we can help release that as well. Do you have a life coaching certification? I actually have a master's degree in social work. That's how I started. And, but I do have 25 um, metaphysical certifications. That was before I realized that everything I needed was within <laughs> and I kept looking for it externally. <laughs> um, machine looking forward to reading more about magnetic soul. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for showing up machine and Kelly it was very, very, it was a very pleasure to meet you. Um, okay. Sorry. Do, do I need one for the class? Oh no, 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 no. You don't need a certification for the class. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to be in business to attend Magnetic Soul um, because it's really more of a personal development course that we're going to be doing in identifying, um, do, really doing a deep dive into your subconscious as to why you might be holding back when it comes to money in your business, 
right? That's the short version of it. The big version is kind of is, is on our site. The link is in our bio, so we make it really easy for you to get there. Um, but this is more along the lines of, you know, why the hell do I cringe or contract when I tell people like what my pricing is, right? Or, you know, how can I, you know, create a cleaner alignment when I'm trying to manifest clients without attachments or responsibilities, that type of thing. Very cool. Thank you. I'll check it out. Please do. And welcome. Welcome to our little space on TikTok. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you so much for engaging. This has been really, really wonderful. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys will hang out and check out some of our other videos. We're going to be posting some new things uh, over the next couple of days because this morning I made 10 TikToks because um, the lighting was really good. <laughs> Not so much now. My hair looks like straw, but earlier this morning, it was pretty good. So we're going to release some of them, um, a little later on. In the meantime, feel free to check out anything. Um, we have a lot of free gifts on our site. We have at least seven. I shouldn't tell you that, but there's like seven things that you can like sign up for on our website. Um, and one of them is manifesting mindsets, which is just a 30 minute training on my experience of how I managed to manifest the curve of my dreams without any money and what those, um, mindsets that I had to shift and change, um, help me help me get there so that's that's a fun one or at least it was fun for me i got the car <laughs> so other than that you guys have a wonderful wednesday and we'll talk to you soon take care everybody bye bye